Today's Catholic Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time September 24, 2023 First reading is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 to 9 Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. Responsorial Psalm The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Second reading is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 1, verses 20 to 24 and 27. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only, conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. The workers in the vineyard, Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around, and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us, he said to them, You two go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What I wish to give this last one the same as you. Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first and the first will be the last. Reflection from our Holy Gospel. Take what is yours and go. 
Jesus likens the kingdom of God to a landowner who goes out at different times to hire workers for his vineyard. The landowner promises to pay each one a denarius, the usual daily wage. All agree with this arrangement. So far, everything goes smoothly. But when pay time comes, there is a big problem. The storyteller, Matthew, creates a problem to bring out a teaching about an aspect of the kingdom of God. The landowner does what is unexpected. He first calls the last worker to receive his denarius. This makes the other workers, who reported earlier, expect to receive more, totally forgetting what is previously agreed upon. Jesus teaches us that in the kingdom of God, God does not operate according to our expectations or to a point system, but according to his generosity. He treats us according to our needs, not according to our performance, qualifications, or working hours. In God's kingdom, there is no such thing as late when it comes to answering God's call. This encourages us, sinners, to repent, even at the last moment of our lives. We should not complain when in heaven, we will meet those who repented late. We should be happy to receive our just reward and not mind what God has given to others. That is why, he says, take what is yours and go. The first reading anticipates the message of the gospel. God's thoughts and the ways are totally different from ours. They are high above ours. We sinners are encouraged to seek the Lord, to turn to him, because he is generous in forgiving. In the second reading, as God's worker in his kingdom, Saint Paul is happy to report to the Philippians. He has worked hard for the Lord. As he is near death, because he will soon be executed, Paul has the same attitude toward life and death. If he lives, he will continue his mission work, which he finds rewarding. If he dies, he will receive his ultimate reward to be with Christ, the giver of work and reward. 